this is David with Haggerty in our DIY series. Today I'm gonna to talk about micrometers, more commonly known as mics, and then specifically A, how to use them, and B, how to read them. Okay, now micrometers can be bought in either a full set, or you can buy them individually. They basically range in their size so they stay precise. So in, for instance, down here in this end, we have a zero to one, meaning it measures from zero out to one inch. And then you have one to two, two to three, four to five, so on and so forth. Now before we jump into measuring or how to read the mic, let's walk through the anatomy of the micrometer. So here's the basics of your micrometers. You have the C-frame, you have a anvil, and a spindle, and then these two faces are precision ground, and then you have a lock, you have your sleeve, which has some graduation to it, and then the thimble, which also has some graduation, and then you have two grips. You have one grip, this one does not allow any slippage, and then this one is ratcheting. The purpose of the ratchet is so when you come in onto a part, you do not over torque the micrometers and basically cause a flex and a bad measurement. All right, now let's get into how we read the mic. On this micrometer, this is our one to two mic. So it means that our zero point is one inch. Now, as we go down this graduation, what the graduations mean are the very next whole number is a hundred thousandths. So that would be 0.1. Everything in between there, these are 25 thousandths increments. So it would be 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Where this end of the dial comes into play is this is your position for a thousandths. So as you go around the gauge, it goes from 0 to 25 thousandths. So anything in between, say this zero and that hash of 25 thousandths will be read over here. Then lastly, if your, as the line here lines up or does not line up, then you use this set of graduations to understand what the fourth decimal place is or the 10 thousandths. So for example, as our dial sits right now, we're at one inch, 200 thousandths plus an eight for eight thousand, so 208. And it, it appears that the very next line lines up very well with one. So it would be one inch, 200 thousandths, eight, one. So 1.2081. Okay, so for example, we'll use this piece of steel stock bring it in, set our gauge. So there's where our steel measures. I'm gonna put a lock on this so it doesn't float. All right, so our micrometer is set to our steel stock. This is a one to two mic. So we are at one inch, 0.6, and then these are the next decimal places of 25, 50, 75, plus a four. So we're at 79. Now to get your fourth decimal place, it's as simple as coming up this direction and catching the first line, set of lines that line up to each other. And in this case, it's our second set of lines and that is a two. So our fourth decimal place is a two. All right, well hopefully that explained how to use micrometers and specifically get a valuable number out of them. Now, next time in our DOI series, you're gonna see us use that information in how to measure a cylinder block. Now, in the meantime, get in the shop, go play with something, have fun. See ya.